Recently, some pictures and videos of modified Russian MTLB APCs with AA guns surfaced on the internet. The modification done to these Soviet-era APCs is obviously not factory-made, but rather looks like a field modification. The AA system mounted on the vehicle appears to be 2M3, which is meant to be used on naval vessels, from boats to ships, hence why it is placed on this tall mount. The weapon system probably came from some decommissioned vessel, where they decided that instead of scrapping those guns, they can still use them. And they decided to mount them on MTLBs. But why on MTLBs? Well, this vehicle has served as a basis for many weapon systems in the past, for various support roles. We have seen variants with ZU-232 AA guns, which I will also touch on. A variant with AA missiles, which is actually called Strela-10, Variant with rocket pods, which would be Strela S8, even with the BTR-82 turret. MTLB is a good platform because it can have a bunch of these weapons mounted on it without having any reduction in its capabilities. That is because there is a big area on the back of the vehicle's roof, which is flat, and putting any weapon there would not obstruct anything. So technically speaking, this vehicle can still transport infantry. The actual reason for making these vehicles is unknown, nor is their intended role. As I said, it is possible they just wanted the guns not to go to waste, but they could also intend to use them as infantry support vehicles, since the guns, even though they are AA guns, have a negative 10 degrees depression, which would pose no issues for engaging targets on the ground. But if that was the case, why have we not seen any of the MTLBs with the ZU-23s modified with some makeshift shields that would protect the gunner. The U-23 also has same gun depression, and since the two guns are level with each other, it would make engaging ground targets easier and would be more accurate. Not to mention that even though there is a shield around the gun to protect the operator, it's not a full protection, and has a lot of areas exposed, which means that the gunner can still be injured by fragments and small arms fire, especially since he's so high up. And why would you use this vehicle in infantry support role if you still have a lot of BMPs and BTRs that would be much better at that role than this thing? It's more likely that they are planning to use these vehicles as mobile short-range AA systems to protect against possible air threats like drones, which would not be easy and it would rather suppress the air threats than destroy them, which is still something. And since the 2M3 has high mount, they can easily put the vehicle behind heavy cover in defensive positions. And why this and not the ZU-23 one? Well, as I said, most likely just want to use the old guns, since they still have ammunition and extra parts laying around. Remember, these are 25mm guns, not many things that Russia operates with, especially in this war, uses that kind of ammunition, so they probably still have a stockpile. And even though the ammunition has not been produced since the 80s, they still probably have enough stockpiled to be enough. Look at some of the tank ammunition. Both Ukraine and Russia have been using old projectiles like 3BM-22 in this war, which had been out of production for a similar amount of time. But I doubt we will see more of these kind of MTLBs. These are probably just simple modification for just-in-case scenarios, and we will probably not even see them actively being used. Nevertheless, they look super weird, and I thought it would be interesting to make a video about them. That would be all. If you like my content, you can support me on Patreon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a nice day.